Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lina and in this video I'll show you the most profitable and easiest trading strategy even for beginners and watch this video until the end and write a comment so like you will receive $100 to the balance on the website and now let's add our trading session. Go to my telegram channel by the link below the video. To do this, open it in the app. Join the group and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any useful information every day. Join my VIP group, just go to the dialogue with me and write plus VIP. So today I'll trade with an amount of almost $1,000. I Yes, this amount for myself. Let's see what comes of this. Also subscribe to my Telegram channel. There will be all the forecasts and a lot of useful information. Let's start by allocating a trading amount of $150. So we'll have a minute deal, as you can see. And I'll also show you the settings. Uh, today we'll also trade on the currency pass that you see above. You can choose them by clicking here and select the currency pass that suits you. So I also want to say on the right is the interest on the currency pass. This is a payout percentage. I recommend choosing more than 70. So today we use two indicator. Two indicators there are non chain channels and rate of change. Let me tell you a little about them. Let's start with non chain channels. In general, this is a simple indicator that provides the ability to observe price movements relative to the usual range. The boundaries of the letter are formed based on the extremum for a certain period. The chart shows the situation accurately. And often when we overcome some minimum points, we experience either a minimal or long-term uh, pullback. Also, uh, don't forget to look at the middle line. Also, at some moments when approaching, it will have a rollback. So we will use the basis of technical analysis, but we also use these indicators. Let me show you the settings of this indicator and let's talk about the second indicator, the rate of change uh, settings. Let me tell you, uh, rate of change can be both an oscillator and a trend oscillator indicator. Roughly speaking, how it's possible, the moving average that you have heard about it, it indicates the average price, indicates the trend. Um, so, like down or up, and it indicates also some adjustments. And let's get started to trading. Now we have switched to the first concept pair and open up. Let's first let's highlight the level of resistance and support. We may now be entering a short period of consolidation. That is, the price will remain at the same level. This is the first thing the analysis says. So why did we open up? Uh, this is the third big candle and we opened almost at the minimum points of the previous two candles. That is, most likely there will be a rollback again in the opposite direction. That is up. Also in this indicator we have reached a relative minimum which also indicates a reversal. Also if we look at our second indicator we are below the zero mark. We are in something of a re recession. Also if you look closely the chart begins to go up a little and begins to level up towards the zero mark. So let's see. So plus DL profit is $82. We see that the balance has increased. Next time I'll try to explain faster. So we move on. Let's open up and start our technical analysis. First, we're in the lower range in Milchin channels. So we see uh we are below the average line in a slight drawdown further if we choose a resistance area and a support area will most likely move towards the resistance area therefore we open up plus we are at a low uh point 
this indicator that indicates a reversal. Also, if we look at uh, this indicator, we also see that the direction of the curve has gone up. That is, the trend will be restored 10 seconds until the end of the deal. At the moment, there's a little uncertainty on the candle. Mm. One second. Plus, the yield profit is $123. The candle closed down, but we opened at the high points that allowed us to gain profit. Balance is $1,238. $39. All deals will be in my Telegram channels, channel and we move on. Now we have moved on to the next concept pair. Let's open up immediately and begin technical analysis. So first, a period of consolidation began. The price is at the same level. Most likely the consolidation period will be uh, overcome a little in the upper range then the market will most likely roll back down. Also, from the first indicator, we see what is below the orange line. This indicates that the trend will soon recover and break. So we opened up. Uh, so rate of change that a slight decline is beginning. We also in the lower range that shows that we are below zero. But still, I'll rely on technical analysis and not on the indicator in this situation. Let's get a look. 5 seconds left until the end of the deal. Uh, good, perfect. Plus deal, profit is $170. So, next concept L. We up and down. What we see from technical analysis is the first thing if we highlight the rear. Uh, the resistance and support areas, we see that we have almost reached the resistance area. We can see this from the shadow of the green candle. And the reversal immediately occurred, therefore we are opening down. There will be a slight adjustment and perhaps a short period of consolidation will begin when the price will remain. So this indicator, we see that it's lower than the orange line, that means we are in a lower range. That indicates that we may have a slight drawdown to approximately this level. Uh, second indicator, we also uh, below it, the zero mark. If you look at the angle of this indicator, it's directed downwards. Uh, let's see, one second. Plus deal, profit is $135. Good. So we on the next concept, uh, let's go bearish and start technical analysis by highlighting the previous resistance area we have achieved it at the moment in principle that's why we opened down uh, next we can look at the don't change channels indicator indicator above we're in the upper limits that also indicates an imminent rollback as in this case and cyclical, uh, we have markets roll back in the opposite direction. Also, if we look at the second indicator, our growth continues rapidly. We're above the zero mark. Let's see. So, down deal, 8 seconds left until the end of the deal. And uh, plus deal, property is $129. Good. So, uh, down deal. And first, uh, we see uh, candles growing for a long time. This means we will soon have a pullback in the opposite direction. Second, the candles are getting smaller. This indicates the market is starting to roll back more and more. That indicates an imminent reversal. We also see in the first indicator that the line has uh, is high. This means there will be a rollback. Also, leveling has begun according to indicator. That means the trend has begun to fall. Let's see. Uh, less than 10 seconds left. 
plus deal profit is $133. Good. So now we have moved to the next concept where we open down. First, we can highlight the uh, yeah resistance and support when the resistance area was established, growth began. We did not reach the previous resistance area, but thereby a new resistance area was established. Then our market went down due to this growth. Next, we see that we are staying near the orange line of our first indicator. That indicates that they will be overcome and the market went down. According to the second indicator, we see that it's above the zero mark. But nevertheless, we do not have a very strong uncertainty. Also, if you look um, closely, this indicator shows a fall. That means that the market will decreasing to this level. Let's get a look. Good plus the L. Uh, let's see, increase in balance. Almost two thousand dollars on my balance, and let's move on. Now we have moved on to the next concept, and let's open down and start our technical analysis. If we highlight the area of resistance and support, we see growth towards the resistance area. But since we have already formed three green, green candles, that is quite a lot. And on the last candle, we see a large shadow at the top. That indicates that the candle has rolled back strongly and now there will be a rollback and will a red candle is formed and will roll back down. Now, next we see from the second indicator that we are at the zero mark. This indicates general growth, but still if we take a closer look to the last line indicates a decrease. That indicates a drawdown in our market, therefore we open down. Let's look. Two seconds left and uh, profit is one hundred and twenty. So we open up and begin our technical analysis. First, uh, if we select an area of resistance and an area of support, we begin to move towards the support area, but then a reversal occurred and the direction changed to the resistance area. So therefore, we open at resistance. Also, if you look closely at the previous candle, the shadow is larger at the bottom than at the top. That means that buyers prevail and the candle has rolled back strongly and there will be a small or even large increase in our charts. Also, what we see from the second indicator, this is a decline, constant adjustments like here, here and here. There have been three adjustments and perhaps there will be another one on the market will fall. Let's get a look. One second. Great. Good deal. Profit. $79. Good. And here we are on the next concept. Let's open up and start technical analysis. First, we're at the support area. This means that most likely will not overcome it and a reversal will occur. So growth will begin because if we look at the big picture, um, we had a general drawdown. There was a slight adjustment and the decrease in beginning again. So this means that we will now have an adjustment in the opposite direction. We also see that we have almost reached the support area. Also, according to the first indicator, we have been at low points for a long time. Most likely, the market will recover upward. Also, according to the second indicator, we see that a drawdown occurs. That means there will be a reversal. Uh, so like this. There was a small turn around here, but we still came to a big turn. Let's get a look. And deal is plus. It took too long to explain. More than 2000 on my balance. Next concept. Well, the situation here is interesting. Let's open up and start 
uh, technical analysis, let's start by selecting a new resistance area. It has been established, the previous one has been broken and we will also establish a support area. We see that the candles are getting smaller, this is a period of consolidation as they are at the same level at the moment. We also see that it remains for a long time at the support level that indicates a reversal to the resistance level and then go to further draw down. Now there will be a reversal to the resistance level. According to the second indicator, we see that we are below the zero mark. There has been a prolonged drawdown. But we also see that if you look closely at the angle of this line, it directed upward. That indicated the candles will rise. Yeah. Three seconds. Good. Profit is 126 dollars. And let's, uh, I suggest to finish and uh, summarize it. Hello traders, my name is Lini and you're on my YouTube channel where I show how to trade in minor options. Here we will find the most profitable and easiest trading strategies. So let me remind you that our balance was uh, almost $1,000. At the moment we have $2,000 to and $300. $29 more than two times. Let's also talk about our savings and what we use today. The deal amount was $150. Uh, we traded on minute trades. Our savings were a minute time frame and candles. We used two good indicators. These are rate of change and don't change channels let me show you the settings copy and use it uh, default settings and today we yeah and this settings today we treated on cancer pass you can include cancer pass here today's Concepts, the payout percentage has fallen, but this is not critical. I advise you to choose Concepts with payout percentage above 78%. And don't forget to subscribe to my Telegram channel. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.